Locations on the Earth are measured by latitudes and longitudes. And latitudes um, give the measure of a central angle. If we put the vertex at the center of the Earth and the equator represents our initial side, then that central angle is formed by going up from that. So this would be like 15 degrees on the Earth and then going down from that, so this would be 15 degrees going down. We would say 15 degrees north and 15 degrees south. So if we treat the Earth as a perfect sphere and we work with these latitudes, then we can actually use our formula, treating that cross-section of the Earth like a circle here. So we're working with a circle and a central angle, and we know the approximate radius of the Earth, then we can actually use our formula working with theta in radians instead of degrees to actually calculate distances on the Earth given a particular cross-section. So for example, um, Erie, Pennsylvania is approximately due north of Columbia, South Carolina. So what we're saying here is that we have a cross-section of the Earth and here we have our circle, this is our cross section of the Earth, and we're told that the radius of the Earth is approximately 6,400 kilometers. And we're told that Erie, Pennsylvania is located approximately due north of Columbia, South Carolina. It says the latitude of Erie is 42 degrees north, so using our, our equator here as our initial side, if I go up about 42 degrees. Let's say that puts us right here. So here would be Erie, 42 degrees north. And Columbia is 34 degrees north. So the Columbia, South Carolina. So they're both going north in that northern, northerly direction. Um, what we're looking for then is the north-south distance between the two cities. So I want to know what is this distance right here. So we're going to use our formula s equals r times theta. We must make sure that we have theta in radians. So we're looking for the arc length here. We know the radius is 6400 kilometers. Now we need to figure out what our angle theta will be. Well, the distance that we're actually working with here, the, the angle that we actually want to work with, is not going to be 42 and it's not going to be 34. It's going to be the difference actually right here is what we want, this angle. So we want this central angle. So what we're going to have to do to find theta is we're going to have to first subtract 42 minus 34 to actually tell us what the angle measure in degrees would be between the two cities. And we get that that is 8 degrees. Well, we don't want 8 degrees. We don't want degrees. We want radian measure. So we're going to multiply by pi times 180 degrees. So we're going to convert to radians. So once again, as we use this right here as our angle theta, since we're going to convert that to radians, I am going to let my calculator do all the work for me. So I'm going to multiply 6,400 6, times 8 pi over 180. And I'm going to put all of that into my calculator at once. So it should look like this. Top times the top. So we're going to multiply all three of these together on top and then we're going to divide by 180. And once again, if you put it into your calculator all at once, then make sure that you have parentheses around the numerator, and then divide by 180. So the distance between the two cities, this is our arc length that we're going to solve for here, the distance between the two cities would be approximately 893 point, let's round to the nearest two decimal places, 0.61 kilometers. And it's an approximation, so we can say approximately, um, but this can work for any two cities that lay on the same north-south line.